I don't think I've ever been more excited to sit down and film a video. Hey everyone, my name is Hunter Hauk, and in this box I have my dream reptile. It is an Ophisaurus apotis, or Pseudopus apotis, or European legless lizard, and a frog that I'm going to be fostering. So, let's unbox it. very well taped, which is always, always good. And then another copy of the shipping label, that's always good. And then this paper, which is of course very important, and required by law. How exciting, okay, the cryo pack's good, the temperature's good. I'm so excited. First up, the little frog. My memory card just ran out of storage, but we're back. Okay, time to take out the lovely little legless lizard. I am so excited. Okay, I'm so nervous and excited and just very, very happy for this. Oh, they zip tied it. I guess that's always good. A good way to make sure that there's no chance of it getting out in the box. That's smart. And it is tied very well. Awesome. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hi friend. So cute. Definitely cold. So I'm gonna let it warm up to room temperature. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't moving so I like tapped its face to make sure it was good, but it's good. Um, I'm gonna let it warm up to room temperature and then put it in its enclosure. And I will like give you an update here very soon. How exciting, I'm so excited. Okay everyone, it's been, let's look at the clock. I don't know, I don't see the clock behind me. My screen turned off, but it's been a couple of hours since the legless lizard got here. So I just wanted to put it in there and give it some time to settle down. Um, first, what I did was set it on my bed to like warm up because it was a little cold and then when I picked it up to move it into the quarantine enclosure it started death rolling and it peed all over me or musked or something. I'm not actually sure which it was because it didn't smell bad but it was like kind of gross anyways. So it's in its quarantine enclosure now but I just wanted to go check on it one more time and then I'm gonna leave it alone but I figured I would bring you along to see so that you can all see how this awesome little lizard is and then we'll check on the frog that came with it. Yeah, I just wanted to say the enclosure that it's in right now, that blue tub, is just a quarantine enclosure for one day actually until it goes into its normal enclosure which will be set up basically for quarantine of course, but it's a 4x2x2 by two by two, and it's here, it's all set up except for the heat. It gets delivered tomorrow, so of course that's how things worked out. So it's in here with belly heat but it will be getting like radiant heat tomorrow, so there is that. And I don't know if it's a male or a female, so I don't have a name for them yet. They're kind of hard to tell, but I'm gonna try to tell once it's a little more settled in, and I will hopefully have a name by the introduction video, which will be, I don't know, in probably a month when they're done with quarantine. Now, I'm talking fast because I want to get to the actual lizard soon. Let's go. Okay, let's open it up. This is the cool end where there's just a little piece of cork, um, a water dish, and like I said, this is set up just for a day, so don't worry. There is the little tail, which means that our friend is over here, actually, so let's go look on the other side. Gotta latch it, because you never want to forget. Here's our friend. Hello, little friend. How are you? You are very cute. He holds, he or she, I want to say she, but I'm not sure, holds still so well. Doesn't exactly love people. So we're going to work on that by using some food rewards and stuff. You can see 
when they flick their tongue it is so slow like you just saw and like that it looks like it's slow motion but it is in fact not it's just naturally that slow and this is why I'm excited to have this little guy or girl in a 4x2x2 four two two tomorrow because clearly a bin isn't ideal but like you'll hear more about in the actual introduction video here in about a month it was kind of a last minute urgent thing now I'm gonna leave this little friend alone because clearly they're a little stressed out because they just had a long trip from Tennessee to Wyoming and I yeah okay so here is my new foster I should make it very clear that this is a foster golden tree frog why won't it focus on the label there we go you can see golden tree frog it's a foster and my friend Emma named him Topher so that's what we're going with since he's a foster it's short for Christopher and it's an inside joke relating to her frog's name let's see where are you my friend We're not in the core ground. Oh boy, we knocked down our fake plant. That's okay. Oh, we're right here. I just wasn't paying close enough attention, apparently. Here's the little golden tree frog. It's a bit of a darker color and will be for the next few days because it is kind of stressed because it just had a big, long journey, but that's okay. It'll get back to its nice golden colors very soon. Now I'm going to leave it be and stop disturbing it. Thank you all so much for watching me unbox my new European legless lizard and golden tree frog. That's just a foster. If you have any name suggestions for the European legless lizard, um, leave them down below. I'm thinking like maybe some plants in their native range, which is the Middle East and Western Europe, or maybe a name from that area. I'm not entirely sure, but if you can think of one, especially one that's gender neutral, <laughs> let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that. If you want to help support the channel, you can head to Shop Hunter Hauk and get some awesome holiday gifts, or you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash hunterhauk for behind the scenes perks, such as knowing about new animals like that way early. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon for an introduction to the European legless lizard and lots of other awesome reptile and amphibian videos. My name is Hunter Hauk, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.